Alright, this video is going to show you how to set up the PlayStation 4. We have already turned it on to the main screen and we already got the controller connected to the unit. So we're going to go ahead and go from there to show you what you have to do. Okay, so it wants us to connect and press the PlayStation button to turn the controller on. So we did that. Okay, so you just select your settings. We already have our Ethernet cable connected because we're not going wireless. And then, as you can see, we have the PlayStation camera connected. Don't know if you can tell, we have it located right here, but it will move later. seems about to be the right time and then you should always just make it look like you read it because sometimes Sony can actually tell if you read it or not but if you scroll all the way to the bottom they generally can't tell and that's basically it how to set up your your unit and there is going to be an update for the unit um, it's going to be 1.50 I believe is the update. You will have to have that, which um, it actually tells you right up at the top that you do need it. And just hit up on your controller and just download. It shouldn't take that long at all. Mine says it's going to take about 63 seconds. And now it actually says three minutes. But as you can see, it's actually downloading pretty fast. So we probably won't need to wait that entire time to go through that entire menu. Yeah, see, now it's 33 seconds. So downloading this update is going to be really quick. It's going to enable all the features because right out of the box none of the main features work so you will have to have this if you want to actually play the unit because blu-ray won't work uh, status bars and messaging all that stuff is useless without this add-on and now it's going ahead and it's going to install that for us Let's see how long it actually takes and how it does it. It's generally, most of this stuff takes really quick, but depends on what the load of the system is. And right now we are on the stock hard drive, so it shouldn't take that long to install it. We will have another video of that sometime this week of how to actually change the hard drive. Because we're going to go from a 500 gig to a one terabyte hard drive. And that's basically it um, of how to start up your PS4 and how to install updates. Very simple.